Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, Antonelli here. Today, we're talking some Astros sign stealing, okay? Unless you've been living under a rock the last few days, and even over the last couple of years, you've heard of some type of fishiness when it comes to the Astros and stealing signs. Okay, let me catch you guys up on exactly what happened recently, and then we're going to talk about sign stealing in general. I'm going to give you my thoughts. I'm going to give you some examples of ways that sign stealing is acceptable and ways that it's really not and shouldn't be. Um, okay, so Mike Friars just came out, used to pitch for the Astros, basically came out and said that in 2017, the team was using a camera set up at home games in center field that was videotaping the catcher signals. There was a live feed going into the dugout, and then they would relay the signs there's been examples of banging on bat racks. There's been examples of whistling. Um, a bunch of different ways to do it. But essentially, using technology to steal signs and relay it to their hitters, okay? And this is against the rules. You cannot use technology to help you steal signs, okay? That's a big no-no. And a couple of the examples, and again, this has been, this isn't just new. I mean, Teams have been absolutely paranoid about playing the Astros at home over the last couple of years because they've known that signs have been getting stolen somehow. Okay, so if you go all the way back to 2017 in the ALCS with the Yankees, the Yankees complained that they were stealing and they were using whistling to signal to the hitter. All right, the White Sox also complained uh, that they were bang they heard loud banging sounds every time that the a changeup was called. So, and those aren't the only ones, but there's been multiple teams, okay? And this year in the playoffs, right, everybody warns teams, the Nationals were warned, everyone's been getting warned, like, when you go play at Houston, you better make sure that you're really protecting your signs. And if you watch the game on TV, and you've watched the playoffs, anytime the Astros are playing, and it's not just the Astros, this has been happening more and more, but especially when you play the Astros, you'll see when there's nobody on second base, right away, the catcher is giving multiple signs, Right, So usually if there's nobody on second, the catcher's just going to give one sign because there's nobody out there that can steal signs. Unless there's a camera, then they can always steal signs. So you'll see that, you see it a lot more now where you'll see multiple signs, you see body touches with nobody on second base, which is a pretty clear sign that the team that's giving the signs is very worried that the Astros or the opposing team is trying to steal signs somehow, okay? And there's been all kinds of crazy rumors also about like guys standing on the train tracks um, in Houston, relaying signs and different flashing lights on the scoreboard and all this stuff, which at this point, I wouldn't put any of this past them. I can definitely see a little, you know, guy up on the train tracks with binoculars relaying in signs. Anyways, so that is just to kind of catch you guys up on what's been going on. Now, let's talk about sign stealing. Before I give you my opinion on this, which I'll give it to you right now. It's absolutely outrageous. I think it's the most ridiculous thing. I think they should be punished. I don't know how they should be punished, but this is a huge deal. Okay, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But let's talk about sign stealing in general. Okay, sign stealing in baseball has been around probably since baseball was created. Baseball is a game of signs. There's a thousand signs that happen. The manager in the dugout is giving signs. The third base coach is giving signs. The... Uh, the catcher is giving signs, right? There's signs for everything, for bunts. Um, there's signs for pitches, obviously. And so one of the things about baseball is coming up with a system of signs so that they can't be stolen because somebody is always trying to steal them, okay? Uh, very easy way, not easy ways to steal them, but ways that you can steal them if the signs are terrible. Obviously, you just, you look, you use your eyes and you look. So let me give you a couple examples, okay? I've been... I've been a high school coach, I've been a college coach, I've been a pro player, I've been a player at all those other levels also. And uh, every game, teams are looking to steal signs. Everybody. You're taught how to look and steal signs, okay? So an easy way to do it, or things that you're looking for, let's just say from a coaching perspective, okay? When I'm coaching in college or in high school, I'm going to give you a few examples. One way is, and the easiest way, probably the, the way that most people think about is trying to steal signs from the catcher, right? Because the catcher's always given the signs to the pitcher, okay? And so, um, as a coach, if I'm coaching, right, and I've done this plenty of times as a coach, when we're in college, I can remember vividly us actually basically winning a game. I'm not going to say because I stole the signs, but I definitely think it helped. So, we were playing against uh, Gardner-Webb, and uh, we are getting shut out, I think it was. We couldn't hit this guy. 
guy had a filthy slider. And I'm coaching third, and I do this every time I coach third. It doesn't matter the, the league that I'm coaching in. Uh, I'm watching the catcher, right? So I'm looking at the catcher, and I'm seeing the way he sets up. Certain catchers get into certain patterns, and they'll set up the same way depending on the pitch. And so I'm just watching that, right? And if he does something silly where I'm like, okay, that's obvious, then I'm going to figure out a way to relay the signs. Now, sometimes, if you think about Little League, the catcher will give the sign too low, give it between his legs too far. Or, as a first or third base coach, if his legs are too open, and you can, sometimes, literally, the catcher's legs are so open that you can just see the sign just sitting right there, okay? If he's going to give them to me, then I'm going to take them. I'm not going to shade my face and say, oh, no, 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 I can't look at those signs right there, right? I'm going to take them. That's part of the game. Everybody does it. And so for the example in college, I noticed, um, well, I'll give you the hint right here, uh, but there's all different things. I noticed that on his slider, he would give three fingers. I couldn't see the fingers, but I could see when you give three like this, they don't just put three down like that. The catcher would do this. And so I could see his wrist bend and it only bent on sliders. Fastball, change up, nothing bent. But on the slider, I could see his wrist go like this, right? Everyone in the ballpark could see it if you're looking at it. So I decided to take the sign. I'm not going to, I, I know it now and know it's a slider. And so we could not hit his slider. And eventually, as once I figured this out, we started relaying the signs and the, the inning that I relayed it, boom, boom, boom. And then we hit a home run and we ended up winning the game. Okay. I don't know if it's because I was, I knew the slider was coming, but it definitely helps when you know the slider's coming versus fastball. And so that's one example, okay? Coach looking at the catcher or, or players, it can be anybody, right? Looking at the catcher and figuring out the sign. Here's another, another example. This happens in high school all the time, okay? We won a game this year. We've won a, a couple of games because of this. One of our coaches, right, figured out the sign system. So if you ever go to a game... The pitching coach usually, especially in high school, is going to give signs, right? And they give a system, and everyone in the ballpark can see it. But the system is supposed to be good enough so that no one else can figure it out. If you are lazy with it, and you're, and you, like some coaches are very lazy with it, and it's the same thing every time, right? Top of the hat, first touch is a fastball, the nose is a curveball, the chin is a changeup. Like really simple, simple stuff. Well, we were playing a game and we could not touch this guy. This guy was filthy. We couldn't touch him until one of our coaches figured out the signs because they, the guy's just sitting there giving it to everyone and it was very simple. Um, or our coach is a genius, one or the other. And, uh, and so we figured it out. And once we started relaying the signs, what do you know? Bang, boom, boom, bang, boom. We start smashing the ball all over the ballpark and we win. Okay, so that's another example, getting him off the pitching coach. Another way is as a player, right? As a player, when you're on second base, this is the most famous way as far as players go. But when you're at second base, you can see the signs that the catcher's given, right? But the catcher is supposed to give a system. So it's going to be first sign or last sign or a pump system or whatever. There's a thousand different ways to do it. Or sometimes it's body touches. I'm looking. At, the players are taught when you get on second base, you look in and you try to figure out the sign system. One, to relay it to the hitter. Two, to use it to be able to steal. So when I was playing, well, I like to steal a lot. So when I'm at second base, I'm trying to figure out the system really quickly because once I know a curveball's coming, that's going to be slower to the plate. I can steal, right? I also want to know if there's going to be a pickoff attempt, right? So sometimes pickoffs, they'll do something different for a pickoff. If I see that, now I know it's a pickoff, I can get back. Okay, so every team is, is doing that and then you relay it in. How you relay it, a million different ways. Sometimes guys will look in and when the pitcher comes set, you can look right for one pitch or left for the other. Sometimes they'll have two arms down for a breaking ball, one arm down for a curveball. Sometimes they'll step forward with their left foot for a certain pitch versus their right foot for a certain pitch. There's tons of different ways. Everybody does it. Don't. That's why a lot of times you'll see Sometimes you'll see the, catch, the pitcher call time and call the catcher out, or sometimes the catchers call time and come out and they'll talk. They're changing the sign system because they think that somebody has stolen it, okay? So there's a bunch of different ways. Again, the third base coach just sitting there. I've done this plenty of times in high school. I watch, when, when the third base coach is giving signs, I'm looking at him. And if he's going to give signs that are really silly and I know every time they're going to steal, then we're going to pitch out or we're going to pick over. Or we're going to inside move with a man on second base. Like, that's part of the game, figuring out other team signs, okay? Um, also, I'll give you a last thing. I played when I was with the Padres. I wasn't in the big leagues very long, but pretty quickly we are playing against a pitcher, and Adrian Gonzalez told everybody, guys, when he sets his glove here, it's a fastball. When he sets his glove here, it's a breaking ball, right? Where he sets his glove, everybody knew. 
That's, that goes on all the time. Hit, some hitters are amazing. Like, I feel like he was one guy, and I wasn't around him a ton because I didn't play a big league. I didn't play in the big leagues for years and years and years. But the times I was around him, I saw him, like, pick up the signs like that really, really quickly. Pitch, hitters are always looking for small little tells. How's the guy hold his glove? Sometimes he'll hold it like this for a fastball, and he'll hold it like this for a curveball. Height of the glove. There's all different things that you can look for. Those are all part of baseball. As long as you're using your eyes and your brain to figure it out, and you're not cheating using video cameras and technology, it's perfectly fine, okay? Now, Astros using a video camera. That, first of all, it's against the rules, right? It says in the rule book, you cannot use technology, okay? They used it anyway. Well, they're, they've been accused of using it, which I have no doubt, okay? I've seen videos now, I've done some research. I've seen the videos, there's no doubt that they're stealing signs okay first off if you look at their home road splits and the playoffs from 2017 this is when a lot of the stuff was being accused uh barstool sports i think it was put up home road splits they're laughable they're ridiculous you've got guys hitting like 370 at home and 110 on the road and there's like six guys that they they showed uh all of them were crazy except for guriel was like 300 and 300 so he raked at both places but there were so many guys that were hitting like three something on the on the uh, three, something at home and like in the hundreds at home. I think one guy was hitting like 079 on the road. Okay, that's crazy. That's a tell right there. But there's no doubt. You watch some of these videos, right? You watch the uh, White Sox one with the banging on the bat rack. It's literally like change up, boom, 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 boom. Fastball, nothing. Change up, boom, 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 boom. Like that's like I'm surprised that teams weren't going more ballistic about this back in 2017. I'm surprised there wasn't a huge investigation back then. Maybe there wasn't. They didn't find anything. I don't know. But like it's really obvious. And then you see the the pitcher call time and he's saying like, dude, like does anyone else hear this absolute banging going on every time I throw a changeup? And then they switch the signs. Okay. And then the Yankees. There's another video of the whistling. You can hear the whistle going on on breaking balls. Like it seemed clear as day when you're watching this. So I have no doubt that they were stealing signs okay now some people even with this all being said some people are like oh it's not that big of a deal like i've been talking to a lot of people some people are like it's not that big of a deal they stole signs so what hello that's the name of the game that changes the whole game if i know what pitch is coming baseball hitting hitting is guessing every time you hit Especially in the big leagues, you're guessing. Now, maybe, you know, some people that are like, they played Little League or they played Babe Ruth or whatever, like, yeah, you don't have to guess because guess what? The fastball's coming in about 60 poo and the breaking ball stinks. And it's like, I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to get whatever pitch comes. Okay, but that's not the big leagues. The big leagues, especially nowadays, everybody's throwing 95 plus. Okay, so now you have much less time to see the ball and figure out what it is and hit it. You have almost no time, okay? So when a guy throws a hundred, if he throws a breaking ball and you're looking fastball, you're out. It's impossible. It's pretty much impossible, okay? And so it is a humongous advantage if you know what pitch is coming at the major league level. And like I said, hitting is guessing. So when I go up there, I have a plan. I'm looking at stats. I'm looking at all these things to figure out, okay, what's this guy going to throw me next? Every time I get in, I guess. You cannot in Major League Baseball go up there and go, okay, I'm going to get ready for the fastball. And if he throws a curveball, hit that and the change up and the splitter. And like I say, if you're looking for everything, you're ready for nothing. Right? That's how it works in the big leagues. You have to guess pitches. And so I'm making an educated guess. And when I guess right, it's much easier to hit. Much easier. And guess what? When a camera's videotaping and a guy's banging, telling me when a changeup's coming or whistling when a curveball's coming, I guess right 100% of the time. And hitting becomes much, much, much easier. Big league hitters are the best hitters in the world. If they know what pitch is coming, they become so much better so much better it doesn't matter if you throw a hundred so here's my thing big league hitters there's almost no speed that can just overwhelm a big league hitter i mean there is a speed i guess but most guys don't throw it i know hicks throws like 104 okay that that's hard okay but and his ball moves like a mile and a half okay but in most cases it's not the the speed of the fastball that's like oh i can't hit this fastball it's too fast right the problem is, is when you've got to hit that fastball, but you also could be getting a 90 mile an hour breaking ball that's going to move this far, right? It's the difference between pitches 
That's what makes it super, super hard. When I can eliminate all that doubt and I know what's coming, that changes the whole game and that makes the game it, it, the biggest advantage that you could possibly get. I don't think there's any other advantage unless you came up with a way to tell the other team you can't bring bats up to the plate. You can't wear gloves in the field. Like, yeah, that would be a bigger advantage. Other than that, there's no bigger advantage than knowing what pitch is coming. That, in my opinion, ruins the entire game, okay? And when you use technology to do this, there's no defending that, right? Like, if we're doing sign systems, we can change that stuff up, right? The guy's, the guy's playing the game, Andy's trying to look, right? And we can change it up. But when you can put a camera in center field and you can see the catcher at all points of the game, right? Like I said, if, if there's nobody on second, no one can see the signs. The catchers are taught, give the sign, right up against your cup, keep your legs closed so that nobody can see the signs, okay? And when no one's on second, nobody can see those signs if the catcher does a good job with it. But when there's a camera, I can't block the camera, right? It makes it impossible. So I can't cover the signs. I can't hide the signs. So basically, it's like having a guy on second every single pitch of the game. And not only that, when you have just a guy on second, it's that one guy that's trying to figure out the signs. But he's also playing in the game. He's got his lead. He's thinking about what's going on. Where do I got to go? Where do I got to run? What's the situation? When you have a camera and you're piping it down to the dugout, you can have as many guys as you want in there checking it out. Like, literally, you could have all the guys on the bench just kind of watching and being like, all right, guys, what do we think this is? And you can figure out a sign system real fast if you've got a bunch of guys looking at it. And they're not, their only job is look, okay, and let's figure out this sign system. You're going to figure it out pretty fast. That is huge cheating. It's crazy cheating. And in my opinion, it ruins the game. It makes the game not fair, right? And it gives the home team the greatest advantage of all time. It's just crazy. And so... Um, I think anyone that says that it's not that big of a deal either didn't play baseball or just doesn't understand what it's really like to hit at the big league level and how much of an advantage it really is. And I think this should be punished. If this is true and this was really happening, um, I think any team that gets caught doing this, I mean, I think the punish has to be really, 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 really severe because, like I said, this is like the biggest form of cheating. Literally. It's crazy. Okay? That's my thoughts. Give me your opinion in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Share the video with all your friends. Subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. Go watch. Go watch. You know one guy? I'll tell you one guy that probably gets accused of, of having a camera in their center field wall. That's Albuquerque. That's Manitelli Rhodes of the show. Okay? If you haven't seen it, go watch it. The guy's greatest hitter of all time. We'll talk to you later.